The saga of this player's ban is really intriguing. Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. I thought I'd kind of cover something as a bit of a deep dive into a really kind of interesting subject of a ban. It's been a little while since we talked about bans and especially Necropolis bans. I really hope the players learn their lessons when it comes to kind of, not learn their lessons, but kind of are more aware of you can be banned anytime just by cheating. Don't cheat, don't share your account don't buy accounts that have been previously used with cheat if you're buying an account chances are you could be buying something that is already on kabam's radar and probably will be banned at some stage so that's something i want to point out and especially if anybody watches the channel and is getting involved with that stuff be warned you might lose your account i saw this uh, particular player's um kind of like coverage of stuff on their their ban and i just wanted to kind of like you know, just talk about it and as well kind of bring it to the forefront because there's some there's some inconsistencies and discrepancies uh, on this subject. So this player obviously is speaking their defense of saying that the other day I literally came to Kabam uh, after pleading with them over a false permanent ban, which was 30 day a global chat and all other MCC chat ban. So first of all, I just want to say that I, why would I really have a reason to do this? So basically today, I don't know how, but another device has my has my account, but I'm sure there's a way to check where the location the device was logged in uh, compared to mine anyways. At first, I was logged out and at first I don't know what to do, but eventually I log back in and the first thing I see is my profile is the Maestro and the Necropolis title and I I, took, I look in my profile and I have about three or four new seven star champs. Uh, I don't know how many rewards came from the mode, but it wasn't me. There should be proof it's not me as one. I can't message anyone on MCC, therefore I cannot gain contact with anyone that could too. Uh, as I've never used this device in my life, nor has it been used in my home. Either way, I am still really confused. I just woke up from a very long sleep to see this. And honestly, I'm a bit scared as I spent all this time grinding for supposedly nothing. Please help. I don't know how to fix this, but Kabam, maybe Kabam can take away the cosmetics and send me a password reset. Not sure what to say or do about this. And apologies if I came across rude. As I said, I just woke up. Um, okay. Uh, there's a lot more to this as well. Uh, to kind of like, uh, I wrote them to keep keep in mind. It was it was my device. The location is different. I cannot get into other MCC intensity players that would do this. Well, all due respect, you, you don't have to use the in-game stuff to gain access. You can message, like, a lot of the stuff is handled through other types of social media. You know, some of these apps, like WhatsApp, Line app, whatever. So my actual ban for 30 days to do with global chat, all things, it probably hasn't even been a week or two. And I came back to the game with this BS2. I generally feel like I, I've just made the account to help MCOC gain nothing myself. I've lost all the progress and time I've spent gaining this progress. I posted this in the hopes that other people have had similar issues where they were simply banned for something they never did. That's a bit rich. And I'm not talking about me. The Kabam said, said in the email that they take these decisions based on negative impact and could come out. Um, this is a lot of text, by the way. Uh, I don't want to take it out of context and just like grab certain bits, but it's a lot of text to explain the situation, which is very easily explainable. I don't think of this negative impact those who have been affected with this and someone who has been playing the game for as long while it even comes as part of your life long, long term as odd they may sound. I said the goal is to reach out to the... I hope this person doesn't speak in constant prose when or constant phrasing when they're, they're speaking person. As has net happened to straight up insult Kabam. <laughs> However, the band system is just BS. Oh, I don't think it is. There's some problems to it, but it's not... It's pretty good to how it used to be. And should be handled a bit differently. The whole decision is final thing. Is what's effed up because there's nothing that shows it's me. I've given them stuff to prove it's not me, and it's wrong that they decide to sit there and do nothing when the the people's uh, people like me playing this game pretty much daily, stressing our asses off trying to play the game. Amen on that. But it's sad and it makes me sad. Honestly, I'm a bit angry, but I'm sure some people uh, here to relate. Probably not. Um, I don't think you're going to get much in the way of um, for sympathy on uh, on the matter. So whether or not, like, this is the thing, isn't it, of what the level of access to it is. Is it a case, 
they've gone to say, I meant to say, I cannot gain contact with other MCC players through any means, which Kabam obviously already knew uh, typing is hard. Well, again, you don't have to do it through game. It's not through game, it's through other things. Uh, as Freedom says, um, lessons we learn. Don't buy an account, do not share account info, do not cheat. And that's that's kind of like, that's really it. Like, I haven't checked the um, the Merc scene when it comes to stuff, but here's the thing: you, you've got to you've got to be careful about this stuff. And where was it? Um, I think they go on to say, "What's this? Lessons they should learn. Handles bans better. If it was me actually doing the deed, they wouldn't have handled that email the way that." They would. That makes literally no sense. I've spent too long on that account. Now, again, you're not kind of like... There's kind of seems to be some level of just extra info that's missing from this. Extra things that just seem to be... There's something that doesn't sit. If How do you mysteriously go? Necropolis is done. Kabam does not ban accounts right away. It's impossible for them to do so. Be warned, modding in Necropolis will be met with immediate permanent ban regardless of your account's history of fair play or any other factor. One thing that I do stress to everybody is keep up to date with content, not just my channel, other content creators' channels. Go onto the forums. If you don't like the forums, then go and check out a content creator's coverage of things. We constantly cover this, and it's something that is obviously sad to kind of note there is one player that's, uh, you know, not... He did the warning, which has been months in kind of like, um, you know, coverage. Of course, there's like, I, I, we don't know the full factors to what this player is particularly saying. But if you've potentially bought an account, it's all mysterious, isn't it? That all of a sudden it does a piece of content. Did you buy that account? Therefore, the, does the previous owner have the email access to it and therefore can do account recovery? This is why buying accounts from people is just the most stupidest thing ever because of account recovery. They can literally reaccess that account. You you could buy you could buy an account for like an MCC account. I don't know from 2015 they only played on it for about a year. You do four to five years of progress. They decide that they want to play the game. You've just done all the work for years, and they could take it back potentially because they know the email account to it. They own the email account to it. It could be an email account that they, they're just like, oh, I know the access to this. Log in, blah, 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 take the account from you, do a piece of content, and like, boom. Or not do a piece of content, but kind of, boom, take all your progress, and you're there kind of completely um, scuppered by it. Look, it can happen. It's scary. So doing a little bit of research for this video, there's some stuff that I can't say is fact and I can't say is fiction, but I can say it's unusual coincidentals. And those coincidentals are that there is accounts that are similar in name. And now that could mean, as I said, fact, or it could mean fiction. Don't know. So obviously I've got to treat it as um, some level of uh, speculation on it. So it's weird. Are these accounts similar to what we've heard of in the past, where a particular type of player, person even will make accounts that are so similar in name that they just go blah 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 it's a long list they then take those accounts at a certain point whether or not they've used cheats on them or nothing and then they've sold them on but do bear in mind that particular player could then say resell that particular account monitoring it and then it's the case a new person's got that account if the original and that could then kind of cause a an issue where someone uses a cheat on it without the person that bought the account's knowledge the same way that the previous owner can then go I'll do account recovery, I'll do email recovery, I've got the account back, it's mine, and they can either use a cheat on it, number one, or number two, they can um, then, um, you know, do it for themselves. There's obviously a lot of kind of things to mention, like the particular account went in at level 53. So, doing level 53 and doing Necropolis, okay, right. Look, there could be some super skilled people, there could be someone using a load of units on this particular thing um, and going through it. I don't know. I, as I said, there's, there's, there's fact, there's fiction, and we're in the middle trying to kind of like uh, interpret what uh, we, we see without knowing the full facts. Because we could say that the person is telling the truth, but a lot of the time that's not the case. And, uh, and look, this is as well, like, there's good news with all this as well. Uh, you know, Kabam Crash said, Oh, hey, it's been a while since we have had one of these be um, benevolent hackers that do necropolis for random people. 
So that is the thing. Kamama basically saying this. I guess it's been too long since we've have, we have warned people that most mercenaries are cheaters. And if one cheats a Necropolis on your account, your account will be gone forever, ever. And Command Mike says, we are unable to investigate or comment on in-game bans on this forum, which is obviously the, the, the tagline they have to do. But it's always very interesting. This is why I find it interesting to kind of come back to this, that um, people, of course, are either going to have cheats, when they kind of go, oh, I'll just pay someone to do um, Necropolis. Look, you run the risk of getting your account banned. This is why we don't see this particular subject. And it's good that at least Kabam are saying it's been too long uh, on that. It means that the system that Kabam uh, Crash put in place, which I think Kabam are going to be talking about, well, I hope they're talking about next month, but they've been putting a new system to deal with this. If this is more of like an instant-based thing, then it could mean it cleans up the likes of um, Battlegrounds and Necropolis and Endgame pieces of content. Is it going to be something long-term uh, that is going to be, you know, beneficial for the community and hopefully we'll have like a f so much lessening amount of, less frequency of, uh, of cheaters? I think so. But, if, but here's the thing, like you've got to have trust in that system. That takes time. That does take time. Uh, and also to know that the system works. So still positive. And um, yeah, I hope there's a big cleanup. And also for those in a, the arena system, the people like, like to do arena for getting champions. They've been looking for improvements for that. An instant ban system would be fantastic. But we just don't know just yet. I'm sure that Kaban will have a new system in place. And I wish them well. I think last when I originally said about Kabam having an anti cheat that worked, I think a lot of people laughed at me, laughed at a lot of people, and probably laughed at Kabam. But here's the thing it's working. Yes, it's got to do more. And I'm sure Kabam will kind of want that to be a better system for something like Battlegrounds and for Arena and for this particular content as well. But we'll have to see. Time is uh, but the factor here. But that's been a video for today. What are your thoughts on this particular person's ban and kind of just justification for and Kabam's response to it? Um, yeah, thanks very much for watching. Check out some other content located on screen and I'll see you all soon. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.